Welcome to the dissector. Smartphone. I'll take a smartphone. So that's basically how you uh, use the environment to your advantage. Takes more time. Got to be a little more careful. Got to scope out your area carefully and safely as you can, and then uh, use it to deal with the zombies. So where'd the other one go? There you are. especially helpful if you know to use chain link fence to give yourself a little breathing room. <laughs> Come on, zombie. Whoa, got a grab. Bad zombie. All right. Nothing else useful. Nothing else useful. All right, now we can go check out that other room without getting bothered, and I can check the contents of all those clothing dressers. Empty, empty. Don't care, don't care. One blanket, one pillow. This is where my 50% item drop rate comes to kick me in the nards. All right, which kind of, which kind do we have? Oh crap, it's not a finale. Hmm. Three by three, huh? Another dissector. Well, that's unfortunate. It doesn't go anywhere. A funnel and a guru. Yeah, that sucks. All right, I was hoping to get some kind of payout out of that. <laughs> Quite check this back wall. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I almost walked off without. Unfortunately, it's a prisoner containment. That sucks. So, possible medical items. I need all the painkillers I can get if we're going to be crafting medical mutations, mutagens. But do I bother right now? Because if I fail, I could shock myself. Or it'll shut down. They're not super hard to get into at computer six with a high intelligence. Yeah, why not? So here's where the medical usually is. Xanax. Take Xanax, I guess. And there's a desk. Some aspirin. Not even any scientists out here this time. <laughs> they just want to give me glasses and glasses. Alright, you guys have fun. We're out of here. Well, there we go. An alley floor is complete, except for the one possibility right there. Yeah, I don't have the fun voices, though. We don't have schizophrenia. I think I'm going to go back over to the west and north. I think that was my furthest away stairs up. See if that bypasses any of the other spots that I was trying to avoid. We were trying to work our way around a Kevlar zombie.
Well, this is the... Oh, that's the room that had the Kevlar zombie. So this room we don't know yet. Alright. Zombie dog corpse, some acid, and nothing else. That's not good. Yeah, that's the turret room I was talking about. So previously, there would be a turret sitting on there. And it's got light and a turret, and you'd come through the doors here, and bam, you'd get shot in the head. Come around the corridor this way, bam, shot in the head. You know, fun times. So, for now, we're done with that section. Oh, Paladin's Guide to Modern Spellcasting. Sure, why not? Advanced Physical Chemistry. Hey, Advanced Physical Chemistry. <laughs> we were looking for you last challenge. I think we're on the outer edge of this floor as well. We haven't found the stairs up yet. Only way to go is back down to the south. This is not boating well for this floor either. What did I can't I'm trying to remember what we what I ran away from over here. <laughs> tough zombie? I think it was a tough zombie that just about caught up to me before I went through the door. Oh, we're starting to run out of floor space. <clears throat> I'm getting a little worried about. About how much room we're going to have before we're forced to go upstairs. Because if I have to go upstairs again without uh, having a decent gun, we'll just get wrecked by uh, the guards on the, the guard floor. Cooking five, fab five. Hmm. I want to go through that door, but I'm a little worried about the, the dog coming out of there behind me. Turret room, no longer dangerous. Uh-oh, blobs. I do not want to experience death by blobs this run. I think there's a whole bunch of blobs in one of these side rooms, and they're starting to spread out and around. So, let that blob out of there. Somebody else broke the door. Oh yeah, I'm on floor two now. Somebody else broke the door. That's more blobs. All right. Whoops, nope. Oh, the barracks! It's a barracks, it's a barracks. This is about... I won't say it's the best case scenario, but if I'm able to open this... Well, see, no, this is not the best case scenario. Well, it could be. <laughs> it depends on what's in here. The reason I say that is I got a lot of blob, I got a lot of goo pits right next to me. So if I do get this thing open 
and there are soldiers inside. I want there to be multiple soldiers. <laughs> um, how would I deal with this? Problem is I might get blocked in by blobs behind me too. Let's back up for a second. I don't have a clean route out without possibly running into blobs in the other direction. Because this door was broke. If I don't have a clean route out that hasn't had potential blobs infesting the rooms on my way out. So, it's kind of good, kind of bad. Because if there's soldiers in here, I don't have the ability to kill the soldiers. I need to be able to get in here and pray that I find a pistol. At a minimum, in one of the lockers. Or, be able to kill the zombie, the soldiers. And then, blobbing them in the goo pits does not get me their gear. doesn't get me their rifles. So, it's kind of a tricky business in how do I get weapons to kill the soldiers so I can get better weapons. Because the chances I'm going to get into the barracks and the armory at skill level 6, it could happen, but it's it's kind of hard. <laughs> so, I don't see any reason to delay this. I'm going to have to do this anyway, and there's not really anything I can do to improve my my ability here. So, let's first find out if we even managed to uh, open the door. We did not. 16 points of damage across our entire body. We got it the second time, at least. I didn't hear anybody moving. There's a holster! It's gonna have a gun! Glock 18C. Me sappy vest. Alright, let's close that up for a second. And start throwing some stuff on. Give me fitted jacket. For now, I'll go ahead and take the pants. We'll take the molly pack. Take the knee pads. Uh, I'd rather take the uh, plates out of the ballistic vest. can't remember if you... I think you disassemble it to get the plates out. I'm not sure it'll let me do that. Oh, it will. Cool. Awesome. Alright. I just want the vest. I don't want the stinky plates. You can keep your stinky plates. We'll throw on a holster. Problem now is it has no uh, no no magazine or bullets. So, got excited. There's a gun, but um, doesn't have the other things we need. Still an improvement. Still an improvement. I'm not going to be unhappy. This is just the first one we've looked at. All right. Now that we've got that done, let's get rid of the subject suit. filter mask until I need it. We've upped our carry capacity significantly. Do I care about anything else? Combat boots, poor fit. Yeah, let's switch out from the uh, rubber boots. Yeah, keep looking around. Nothing. Combat knife and sheath at least gets us a weapon. Uh, what else we 
got more sappy vests, tech gloves. Go ahead and wear the tech gloves. Um, the helmet. And which was it that was fitted? Got the fitted jacket. Now we can have fitted pants to go with it. Okay. <clears throat> Looking pretty good. Oh, are the boots fitted too? I didn't look. They are. Cool. Need a gun, please, <laughs> with ammo. Not good. Last chance. Oh man, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Ah, uh, yuck! 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 Let me think of this. We're going to hold off on this. We still haven't found the stairs up. We're going to have to pop back out, dodge the blobs, check for another room south here. There should be one because we've got a room over this side. With the gear we have on now, we should not, well, we won't be immune to the blobs, but uh, it'll be a lot harder for the littler ones to do any damage to us, and the combat knife will do a pretty good job of chopping them up. Oh, there wasn't really a time where you had to layer your clothing manually. The only reason you would do so is when you wanted to do the old trick of putting your backpack close to your skin so it had uh, it would be the last thing to take damage but you weren't required to move everything around other than that yeah let's keep exploring before I risk trying to hack that thing I can just about guarantee we're going to fail it that thing failed pretty often at computer skill 8 Get some aspirin in us, though. See if we can get this pain gone. Nope. No door south? Really? Hmm. Nope. No door south. Alright. That feels a little odd, but let's back off. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. I guess we could lead him up to get him dissected. That'll probably be the better play.
And I figured there was going to be more. We'll just leave them in there for a few minutes. <laughs> Usually they'll just step on it themselves. Instead of dancing around them. Whoops. Oh! Only I had known. <laughs> Another dissector right there waiting for me. Okay, this is the hall that had the tough zombie. We've got uh, dissectors and blob pits we can lure him into if he shows up again. Crawling zombie, turret room is going to have nothing of use. Yeah, I could use a towel. Well, I can't really use a towel. Or I don't really have a need for a towel. There it is! Alright, we have our way out. Which is good or bad, because that means there's no room here. We know there's a tough zombie down here. That might be the last room. And I'm not going to survive, or at least I'm not likely to survive, what's in the guard room. Kind of depends. There's a few, few random variations that'll throw things into some doubt. Was it right here that that... Yep. Oh, the grabber. I forgot about the grabber. Lost track of me, did you? There is a possibility there's a uh, room up this way, too. There was the Kevlar zombie in here, and the room's lit. I can't kill the Kevlar zombie with a dissector. I have to goo pit the uh, Kevlar zombie. That's a bit of a run to get to a goo pit for him. And uh, so far, it's looking like a big no on getting a room that's got the um, the apartment complex style or the kitchen unit and all that. Hmm. Whoops. Hey there, security guard. So, tough zombie chased me to that door to the right. He might still be hanging out over there. My sector? Nope, bedroom. I 
Well, at least it goes south again. That's possibly good. Another barracks. Alright, hold off on that for the moment. That's good, so we're going to have at least one other opportunity. And dissector! Antibiotics, huh? Whoops! Hey, cyborg. Don't mind me, buddy. I'm out of your little room here. And stairs down. Alright, so nothing. The last of the extra rooms, with the possible exception of right here. The only other place that I can see that might have another room. Otherwise, we've got it fully explored. We've got an option for uh, two barracks up here. Or two armories, that is. And then we've got the barracks on the other floor. That has the uh, the robot guarding it. Which I may or may not be able to deal with. Still haven't killed the tough zombie. Hmm. I don't like having to retreat back through water with the possible enemy behind me. Okay, another little bit of a love tap, otherwise we're in pretty good shape. Let's go see if we can get in. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Got it. Alright, any noise? No noise. Oh crap. That's right, the whole place is going to be flooded, huh? This is going to be interesting. Back at pants, ammo pouch. Nothing else that I need, I don't see. Not gonna give me a single gun, huh? Nope. <laughs> it did me the favor of giving me two barracks that I could hack into, but um, not a single usable gun. Next best solution is to go north, run around the Kevlar zombie, pull him into this room, close the door here, circle around, close the door here, and he'll be locked in this little section. And then I can do whatever I need to do to check this last little area. I doubt I'll care about the clothes now that we were able to get army man clothes. But let's do that before we commit to any final <laughs> desperate act of trying to hack into a barracks. I'm still also undecided on whether I want to go mess with that killer robot. Hey, buddy. I don't want you to super slam me either. So I can do this 
I can do this in the reverse direction, actually. Uh, he's going to come to me now. Whoops. Well, I forgot about that. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> he yanked me on the dissector. <laughs> oh, you some bitch. Am I going to take damage every round I'm standing on it? Because that's going to suck. He's, he's dragging me pretty good. I can't get him to stand on it. I'm running out of stamina. There's once. <laughs> Whoa, what does dot 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 mean? That's interesting. God dang it. I'm out of stamina now. I'm in big trouble now. Did not go the way I was expecting. <laughs> Yowch, so much pain. Uh, yeah, that uh, that sucked a lot. Now we're in even more danger from. Uh, Crap, there's somebody else over here. <laughs> All right, you I can avoid. Hey, Kevlar. Yep, see, there is a door. Hey, Kevlar zombie. On over this way. I need to get to the door before he sees me and shuts or comes through. Alright, so he's trapped in there. What do you got? What kind of cool clothes you got? Utility vest? Eh. How about you? Glove liners. Eh. Another prisoner came. Uh, run the risk of getting a shock or a chance at some minor meds. That's pretty much my my best hope. Bit of a run over there to dissect anybody. And I'm even slower now than I was. Ugh. No meds of any use. <laughs> Zero out of fifty. Thanks, game. And a butane? That for the lighters, I assume? Not 
not really used to paying attention to that. <laughs> so if I go to the lighter and say refill, you don't have any gasoline to reload your refillable lighter. Activate the butane? Is it only certain kinds of lighters? Kind of weird. So, nothing useful. But we had a chance, but we didn't get anything useful out of it. Alright, well, it's kind of decision time. I have a couple of options. I could peek up the stairs to see what the uh, guard room looks like. Either that, or I have to run the risk of trying to pop open a um, an armory with um, I'm down to twelve intelligence instead of uh, fourteen. Ah, oh, my Molly pack got trashed. My messenger bag too. Hmm. Definitely have to go back and replace the molly pack. I know there was at least one more. All right, before I decide, I'm going to take another, just a real fast break. I need to go grab a bottle of water. I'll be back with you guys here in just a couple minutes.
Come here, microphone. So, what was uh, what was the decision? What what fabulous plan did you guys come up with? What do you think is more likely to benefit me? Trying to hack into a an armory with twelve intelligence and six computer skill, or uh, peeking up these stairs, <laughs> seeing if we have Kevlar hulks waiting for us in the uh, hallway. The initial room will actually be empty. There won't usually be anything in the uh, actual stair room. Like I said. <laughs> so it's going to be open doors. There's a hallway that goes south and bends around. And then there's doors here. We have to go into a small room and then doors here for the stairs actually up. A small chance we can actually get out without even having to deal with any of the enemies. I'm not sure I like the light here. So we've got a couple of problems. Problem one, the two levels we were given are both really small. Have almost no food whatsoever. We got water. We got a water source, so I'm not worried about water. There's also, I don't believe there's any machinery that I can disassemble to get uh, rubber hose or six liter tanks or other things. None on this floor. There were no um, residential areas, apartment areas. There aren't many that just joined in semi-recently. Uh, we're doing a medical mutation run with no combat skills and low physical stats. And I had commented before we started that uh, starting under our research facility would probably be the best bet or best, best result for us. And here's what the map gen did. <laughs> The map gen put us under a research facility, then gave us a spare research facility, then gave us another laboratory and a wizard tower, which of course means there's a town right here. But um, that is one of the most hilarious map gens I've seen for, for starting the game. So, if this lab doesn't suit, we'll just go to the other lab. But, yeah, we got no food down here. All the vending machines have been broke. <clears throat> we didn't have any libraries of vending machines. We have three barracks, two of which we've gotten into the first part. A third one that has uh, one of the robots guarding it. And I don't know that I would be able to successfully reposition the robot without getting myself shot. And since we didn't encounter any zombies, yeah, it doesn't really help me to get into that third third barracks. Because I've already got all the basic clothing and stuff. Maybe there's a gun in that third barracks. Maybe. But I would only use that gun, at least initially here, for uh, killing the soldier zombies, which there haven't been any. <laughs> so... I think I have to peek upstairs, see if I've got a clear route out or not. And the guard station can also have ammo and guns. So I might be able to get some there, depending on what's up there. So I think I need to I need to verify what I'm facing upstairs first before I take the ultimate risk of trying to uh, hack into the armory. So now I just have to decide: do we wait here until my speed recovers a bit? And also to swap out those damaged items. Roll back south real quick. I can't remember if this place had molly pack or not. Yeah. All right. There.
All right, so the messenger bag's messed up, but I'm not going to worry about that. So, we are running a uh, fast healer. If I slap some bandages on and just a little bit of time go by, we might pick up a little bit of hit points. But we're also running genetic chaos, which hasn't kicked in yet. That gets us right down adjacent to the finale floor or the finale room. There's the mutagen tank. Tank full of medical? <laughs> no. <laughs> nope, they wouldn't put one of the high end mutations in a tank. But it could be mutagen, base mutagen that I could use to craft all the um, other stuff that I need. So we definitely need to hopefully figure out a way of dealing with uh, what's in this room at some point but not yet um bandage up parts that need bandaging well that wasn't that part <laughs> So it's returning to the menu again. So it's they, they fixed the uh, where you had to reselect it every time. But at least that's happening again. I have no antiseptic yet. Whoa, is it 79 cookies? <laughs> I didn't even notice. That's uh yeah, that's that's a lot of cookies. <laughs> we we've had a few instances of some pretty weird quantity numbers in the uh, food containers today. So I don't know if that's a container problem or if these are intentional numbers nowadays. We're going to wait here a while though. We're going to see if we can get a little bit of healing and get that pain down a bit, if, hopefully. I didn't bandage my my brain. Apparently not. One more hour. And we're we're gonna head on up. <laughs> Pain went from nineteen back up to twenty. Twenty one and then down again. That's funny. So apparently we're just gonna be stuck with pain, are we? Fine. Alright, it's time to get moving. We got some healing done at least. Let's take a look. I think I think I'm gonna break this light. 